Welcome to this JMC weekly webinar, Features to be Thankful for on November 24th, 2021, the day before Thanksgiving here in the year of 2021. My name is Paul Freed. I have over 20 years of educational experience. I'm joined by Lynn Evans, a former teacher, principal, and superintendent in the great state of Iowa. And as we were just talking about before we started this presentation, he was retired from those things and now he's got lots of new jobs. So Lynn, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you, Paul? I'm well. Lynn, can you just, uh, for the, the listening audience, name off a few of your jobs? Because I could name a few of them, but a few of the jobs you have now that you've retired. In addition to JMC? Yep. Well, I uh, am a substitute bus driver. Yep. I jump back in the classroom every once in a while and do some substitute teaching at all levels, which has been a lot of fun. And uh, I officiate high school football, high school basketball. I start track meets and I work a full varsity softball, baseball schedule in the summer. And you also drive, drive combine too, don't you? I do. We just a uh, few weeks ago got done with harvest. So there you uh, go. I help a local farmer friend here and uh, yeah, that's a lot of fun. That's awesome. And great. I appreciate that. So today, is all about your favorite JMC features. What do you love? What saves you time? Let's get to know each other through a few short introductions and start sharing our favorite features in JMC. So you can communicate with the host to share your favorite JMC feature if you want, or ask a question to one of our panelists with the Q&A chat feature in your webinar toolbar and myself or Lynn will uh, bring that up and answer your question for you. So first I wanna introduce our panelists. And actually I did have a couple panelists email me this morning and say uh, they were busy um, or were not able to make it, but we have Christopher Cooper here. Chris, can you just introduce yourself real quick? Sure, I'm a school counselor in Western Nebraska standing down in the corner by Colorado and Wyoming. Great. And you've been using JMC for two, three years. Is that right? I think, I think this is our third school year where we've been, yeah, JMC fans. Absolutely. <laughs> Sounds great. Um, uh, those comments will get you everywhere with me, just so you know. So, and <laughs> Missy, you're at Colfax Mingo. So just tell me a little bit about your, uh, what you do there. I am uh, referred to in the district as the JMC guru. Awesome. Um, I've been using JMC now for 13 years Great. and um, I work out at central office. I do all state reporting. Um, I dive into JMC quite deeply on a daily basis. Great. Well, thanks for joining us, Missy. We appreciate it. Dave Hansen's a principal at Maple Lake and he told me that he actually is in the classroom today. He emailed me apologetically this morning, so he's not able to join us. And Vicki Bruski also is the office manager at Rochester Beacon Academy. She could not join today as well. Um, I had something come up, but she did send me some of her favorite features that I will go through as we go through. So thanks for joining us, everybody. And, and uh, we're glad to have you. So we're going to just go get right into it, sharing your favorite features. And Lynn, you can also share one if you want to as well. But we'll go through and we'll probably start with uh, Chris and Missy, and then I will... Um, share uh, one that Vicki sent and we'll go through this. We just have three basic questions. First, Chris, let's start with you. What's a JMC feature you are most thankful for? Um, I have to say I do state reporting for our district too. And so all of the JMC state reporting tools, I'm sure they're, I know that they're specific to each state mm -hmm. and I'm here in Nebraska, but the fact that we can send data regularly, we can delete data we can we can do all the ed five data and we have much more control over our sending and receiving and correcting all that data has absolutely changed the way that i do state reporting and made it something that's minimal instead of the major headache in my position that's awesome and we you know we try to do that for each state you know in iowa we were with mm. SRI, that is Rachel Cruz there, who <clears throat> supports our schools. Uh, Wisconsin, we do EdFi reporting. In Minnesota, we're doing EdFi transition reporting. And truth be told, Vicki, who's, who's not part of our training here, this is Vicki right over here, she emailed me her feature that she's most thankful for, but then quickly followed up with another email that said, I also want to tell you that the, the state reporting EdFi transition in Minnesota is so easy. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the JMC programmers. So uh, that's, a, that's a universal thing there. That sounds great. All right, Missy, what did you have for your, um, your feature that you're most thankful for? Well, the feature I'm most thankful for is actually a person. Uh, oh. Her name is Sarah Freed. Oh. And uh, she helped me with the standards and benchmarks. That's awesome. Um, being able to contact her uh, quickly and get quick responses enabled us to set up standard and benchmarks for our elementary school um, in a matter of months. Uh, from the beginning of the school year, and they were able to use their very first um, standard and benchmark report cards at the end of the trimester. So 
Well, that I am is very awesome. thankful for her. <laughs> I will make sure to tag her in this video. She will appreciate that. And I know yep. she's worked with a lot of schools and she and Lisa are the two uh, leads in that report card team. And they, yes, uh, Lisa they do as well. a lot. Yes. Absolutely. Well, I will definitely pass that on. Thank you. Lynn, did you, um, did you have something that you um, wanted to share at all? A feature that you think, or when you talk to clients that they're most thankful for? Yeah. Can I have a, uh, can I have permission to share too? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the first one, this is a personal one for me, is the message center. And I know Paul's heard me rave about the message center in the past. But when I was a superintendent, we used that all the time and in some unique ways. Matter of fact, I always give credit to us passing um, our reorganization, our consolidation between two schools, simply because we were able to reach out to parents, reminding them to vote and pushing out information through the message center. Absolutely. And then the other one. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. And then what? the other one I had that uh, Angie Bruce, who wasn't able to join us today, but I'm going to give her credit for this anyway. The coach advisor app mm -hmm. is an amazing tool. And yeah. she came up with the idea of putting all of our elementary teachers in as, as advisors and putting their class roster under their name. So they had them at all times and they could message parents and, send out reminders of things like field trips or when buses are returning home, or, mm -hmm. you know, it just a really great idea. So I'm thankful for that feature. Yeah. We've got a great video out there. Spring sports uh, activities, prep and new eligibility is a great one that goes over that coach activity app. It's such a, it's a, it's such a flexible tool. I tell people if there's any grouping of students that you want to work with to send voice, text, email, check to see if they're at school today, check their attendance, set them up as an activity. You can run GPA reports by activity. You can print labels by activity. You can run reports by activity. So those are two really great, great features. That's awesome. So awesome, awesome features that we have uh, for you there. All right. So I like the variety of them as well. So thanks for sharing those. It's almost like we, we didn't plan this out, but it's almost like we did. That's all on top of what we are. All right. What JMC feature do you think everyone should take advantage of? Chris, do you got one? Yes, um, I absolutely think everyone should use the submit a feature link mm. that's at the top of the page. Yeah. We have, yeah, clear over there. Yeah. Um, we have seen probably four <clears throat> or five of the features that would we just thought would make things so much simpler for our school, our district, that we've submitted in the last year that the development team has worked on and has been a feature before the end of the year. And we were just kind of stunned because <laughs> our previous sis uh, basically kind of said you're on your own if we had trouble but the fact that they actually check that use that build features that are useful for their schools I just that was a big thing for us coming to JMC. Awesome you know I love that submitted feature request and if it's read like this that means you as a user um, do not have your email address listed in so you can talk to your administrator and they can put your email address in once your email is in there you can submit a feature request. So I'm actually just going to run through it. It'll take me just 20 seconds here to, to be able to do that because I'm logged in as the JMC administrator and that one does not have an email address listed to it. But here I'm logged in as myself. I can click submit a feature request and you can come and you can first search for a feature request and then you can go in and you could submit that feature request as well. And you can look and see what we have under here under uh, coach advisor app or family or admin app here. You know, So admin app, there's 61 ideas. You can search for it first and then you can actually vote on those ideas. So you can vote on them. So awesome tool. We look at those votes. We see what's being upvoted and things like that as well. So great idea there. All right. Um, uh, who would like to go next? What's a JMC feature you think everyone should take advantage of to either our other two panelists? I have one. Yeah. Um, I am, think more people should use the chat feature. Mm -hmm. Um, I use that at least, I would say, once a week to look for information on how to do certain things. And I asked, in fact, yesterday, I just asked a question and got a quick response. Um, I think it's a great tool. Yeah, you just come in here and you can search for your own um, uh, answer. You can either type in and search the articles here or visit the help center or send us a message. And so if you want to find a thing, and how do I email report cards here, right? I can type in email report cards, email report. And that's gonna show me how to email report cards uh, feature in JMC office. And I've got all the directions right in there. Um, 
uh, this actually is an over, that's an overview there. So I'd go back and look at, all right, what's the next one? Here we go. Printer email report cards in the James T office. Step one, step two, all the directions are right there. And if you can't find your answer, um, you can come in here and you can click send us a message and type your message in there. We always encourage people put as much detail as you as you can. So Missy would type in, hey, this is Missy from Colfax Mingo. I've got a question about this particular report. You know, the more information you give us right off the bat, the more the better we can get your um, your answer back to you. And so it's a feature we're really, really proud of. And actually, we just did a meeting on this this morning, truth be told. And of the we get thousands and thousands of people that use this every month. So every month we look at just the statistics. And the cool thing was that 89% um, of people had found their answer first through um, visiting the help center or searching for articles, which left 11% that sent us a message. And I love that because it's, it's not an either or, it's a both end. See if you can find the article or send us a message. So that is an awesome feature um, as well. Lynn, did you have one that you wanted to share? I think everybody needs to consider using the family app. Mm -hmm. It is such a simple feature. It's a free download for parents. It doesn't cost the school anything. Yep. Um, and I was just out this morning in four different buildings and sharing the virtues of the family app. And once they saw it in action, they were excited. Yeah. So that's one feature I think parents will love and that schools need to be using. Absolutely. Here's a little, um, little ad here for whatever this product is on YouTube. But this video here um, is really great. It's 042120. It is introducing the James C. Family. It is. It's if you got the James C. Family portal, it's free. It's a great way to pr promote um, that your school wants to have accessible information for your families. It just it reflects well on your district overall, and people can have that information on the go. So that's a really um, exciting there as well. And then um, Vicky had emailed and said about two of her favorite tools. The first is the student scope. She says the student scope makes it so easy to quickly look up a student schedule when their parents pick them up, check their attendance when a counselor asks for it, or when train new staff. It's so convenient to have all of their important student info in one location. So what she's talking about there, if you've never used the student scope, is to go under um, file to the admin dashboard, file to the admin dashboard. And on that admin dashboard here on the right-hand side, we have the, um, the student scope. Is it, oh, it's, I don't see it there anymore. Do we make it its own page now, didn't we? Is that right? Goodness gracious. Yes, it must be also on a student schedule. So let's look there as well. I know we moved it because we wanted to make it easier for people to be able to find. Here we go. View student data screen. I apologize. It's the student scope right here. When you click on that student scope, each user can have their own different six items they can choose from. You can have the progress report here. You can have their student, she was saying what their schedule is listed here. You can have a, their um, transcript, their discipline or their attendance, right? So you don't need to be a JMC guru even or even to be a technology wizard to be able to come in here and have this student scope open. A lot of people will leave this open all day long. So if I talk about one of my favorite features, and if you ever had training with me, I, I will typically bring this up, that you can have multiple screens open at the same time in JMC. So if you are working on um, printing out report cards, you have grading reports, I can right click on report cards, have that in a window open here. And then I also still have my student scope. I can find a kid here. Let's find uh, student John McElmurray. And there is John McElroy right there. Oh, I need to go back to print report cards. There we go. Oh, kid comes to the office. He or she's throwing up. Hold on. I'm going to go under health down to my visit log. I'm going to right click on edit student visit log. And now I've got these three things open. I've got my visit log open where I can find a different kid and say, yep, this kid's getting sick in the office here. I'm going to add a new record. Oh, got to get those report cards emailed out. Email that report card out. Oh, student needs to look up their schedule or whatever. Come here, student scope. And you can see I can have different students open in those different tabs. So really, really great way to be able to manage those, um, those particular things there as well. So, all right. I told you when I, when I asked folks here to be part of the panelists that we were only gonna have two questions, but I've got three. So if you've got one, that's great. But is there any feature that saves you a lot of time that you can think of? I'm kind of putting you on the spot on this one. So any feature that kind of saves you some time that folks can think of right off the bat? And I, you know, before people answer, and I will give you another little second here, is that when I go to schools, literally half the time I walk in or I'm talking to the administrative assistant or the, the principal and say, I love JMC. And I know what they're really telling me is that JMC saves them time. 
right? That's the, that's what they're saying. And, you know, we all like programs or tools in general that save us time. <clears throat> and that's what JMC does. It helps to save you time. And if we're not saving you time, that's where you submit a feature request. So um, I have one. Do you guys have one that you want to say? Because Vicki um, from Beacon, Rochester Beacon sent one in, but do you, any of you have one before I jump into that one? I have one. Great. Uh, mine would be the list feature. Mm. Um, that I pull that often uh, when we do like midterm stats for at risk. Mm -hmm. um, I have saved lists that I just have the information pops right over to selected. Um, it's really cool that you can um, export the data. You can copy that over to a Google sheet, create a pivot table, and you can get all kinds of information quick as quick as you can get. And yeah. I, I think it's great. Yeah, student list, it's your custom report generator. You come in, what do you want on the report here? I want to come here under the common area here, and I'm going to have the student's name and their grade and their birth date or whatever is listed there as well. Oh, I didn't get the name. Hold on there. And then I can say, you know, what? who do I want the reports? Can be all the active kids. I can take just my ninth graders or 10th graders or students that are in a particular activity, right? Whatever you want listed there. And how do you want it sorted? You can sort by name, GPA, attendance. It doesn't matter. And you can preview that. You can export it to a spreadsheet. You can create labels, whatever you want. You can number them. It's just, if you are a person who uses JMC day to day and run, runs reports, JMC has about 150 plus reports already in JMC. What's your average daily membership? Who ate lunch? That's all in JMC already. But for the reports we don't have, you can run student lists. And I actually, I think I have a great um, video that I did about a year ago, if I'm going for my memory here. Um, which is, let's see if I can find it here. I can actually just, I could do a search here for student list and it will bring up that student list right there as well. Oh, here it is right here. Student list exports and PDFs. Oh my. Um, it's a great thing that goes over those student lists there. Great. Do uh, either of you two gentlemen have a, a feature that you'd like to say that saves you time? Sure. Yeah. Truth be told, I, there are many, many features in JMC. I'm, I want to talk about transcripting because I, was working with transcripting the other day, but I have mm -hmm. to, on this topic, also mention how much I love just the flexibility of scheduling and there are many ways to schedule students. Mm -hmm. And that yeah. saved me, not hours, but I think days mm -hmm. in my work year. But I, yes, I was editing student transcripts the other day and this is a new feature. That's that quick link over there on the right. Yeah. The add transfer course. Yep. That's something that's been added this year. And that has been so incredibly helpful. Mm -hmm. When we have students that come in from other districts, I can immediately put it in that course, all that data right there, it actually plugs it into the, you know, if you click on the add record before that even, mm -hmm. then it actually will take the information you're entering on that screen, Paul, and put it yep. right into all of those fields and it's ready to go and it's amazing. Yep, so I put the year, the term, I can then click add transfer course. It's got it in there, course name, I'm just gonna call this PSEO chemistry, what's the credit? Gonna get one credit there. Credit grades, regular, there we go. Click save. And that's going to then put it in there for me, right? Give the kid a grade. Uh, if you can put it, leave this credit here, either read no reason to override, but you sure could. It's including GPA, grad credit. If you wanna put in this other information and click save, bada bing, bada boom. You don't need to leave the screen to add, add them in. It's right there for you. It's an awesome new feature, absolutely. Great. Lynn, did you have anything there? I do. As an administrator, the admin dashboard mm -hmm. is just a great feature. And I love showing that to principals, especially, but even superintendents mm -hmm. um, about how easily that can uh, get them reports on, well, whatever they want to set it up as. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I, yep. The other feature to... while you're searching around there is the yeah. admin app. And it's just really saves time having all that information at your fingertips when you're out wandering the halls or in classrooms or the lunchroom you have all that information right in the palm of your hand yeah both two great features for our administrators and you know lynn you were an administrator but you can come in here and say all my 10th graders let's see what's their cum gpa what's their class rank how many tardies and you can click on any one of these 
and see what is going on there uh, and, and rank them by those particular ones. How many kids, have, who has the most referrals in 10th grade right here, right? It's these ones that are listed right there. So it's a super helpful tool for you. You can run it by term, you can run it by date and so on. And I think I'm gonna be having another weekly webinar on um, the admin dashboard coming up this uh, January, February, probably a two-part series, one on the admin dashboard, another one on these early at-risk settings. So it's really great. And then the admin app as well, right? Uh, we're actually making some updates to the admin app currently. So I'll be doing another weekly webinar on the admin app coming up as well, but it gives you that, that, uh, that flexibility to find students, uh, to message families, message folks, uh, look up uh, schedules uh, on the go. So it's a great tool. Um, and the last one that I have here is one that Vicki sent in again from Rochester Beacon Academy. She loves the email all teachers of the student. Right, what a great thing. John McLemore is sick for the day or something like that. You click on that link right there. I've only got one teacher in here, but it would have all the teachers for that particular student. It actually looks at the kid's schedule, compares it to your calendar to see what term we're in and only chooses those students right there. A cool little feature that somebody requested last year is, hey, put the sub the name's kid, the name of the student in the subject line. So we do that. It's got John McElmurray there, right? So if I go to the next student right here, and this is Judy McElmurray, when I click email, I'll teach the student, we put it right in there. For, then you can put in here, sick today, right? What a cool, all those little things save seconds, right? And you can put a note in here, please email mom with the, uh, you know, homework or whatever that might be there. So what a cool feature to easily communicate with all the teachers um, of a particular student there. So that's also one of my, my favorites as well. It, 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 you know, it, there's so many great features. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to pick them, but I'm, I think we've got a good variety for each of them as well. So, and Lynn, I didn't see any questions come in. I think that our, our, our crowd that of folks that is, is watching is just kind of soaking them all in. So I think we'll keep going unless anybody else has any other features they want to go through, or can I just wrap this one up? I say wrap it up. Sounds good. JMC news and upcoming events. So sign up via the office or teacher homepage or use the in-app widget to search for November week webinars. We actually are going into December now soon, right? So next week is absent and tardy letters set up part one is next week and two weeks part two. One of my favorite, again, time-saving features, having JMC generate those absent tardy letters to send home to families via email or snail mail. Great, great feature that anybody who sends letters home to families should be using. Then we've got another two-part series, and managing and entering context, part one, just overall, how do you manage context in JMC? And then part two, entering separated couples or divorced contacts. I'm excited about this one because um, JMC has some new tools we put in the last couple of years to help you manage those particular um, families there to make sure that everybody has the access they need and want inside the JMC family portal. It's back, folks. Refer a friend, reward your school. Now through December 2021, we're offering schools a discount to refer their friends. For every school you refer to JMC that signs up for our software, we'll give each of them a $500 scholarship for your district. Any questions, email our sales team for more details. Also, we're looking for client service specialists. That actually is what Lynn is as a retired administrator and teacher. But also Chris Cooper, who works in his school, is also a client service specialist. We are looking for six passionate part-time client service specialists in Nebraska, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. As a client service specialist, you'll develop meaningful relationships with our users through communication, training, support. In return, we offer competitive salary and the opportunity to work remotely. You can read the full job posting there for further details. To apply, email your resume and a letter of introduction to hr at jamescience.com with job application in the subject line. It's a part-time job. It's a great way to stay connected to education and also show off a little bit of your JMC knowledge. So it's a cool, it's a cool gig. Another great way to stay up to date on all things JMC is through our social media presence. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn at OnlineJMC or our blog at jmcinc.com slash news. As always, I want to first of all thank our panelists, those who could be with us and those who didn't. I also appreciate folks sending that information into us. But thank you for taking your time on uh, this day before Thanksgiving. I know some of you are at home because you didn't have school today, but I sure appreciate it. And um, and it was a great way to hear what features are useful for you. So thanks for being part of it. And thanks everybody for choosing JMC.